I'm sorry if I seem uninterested. Hey, you guys. Um, for those of you guys who have never visited my channel or this is the very first time you're ever seeing me in a video, welcome. My name is Alyssa, and today I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this low bun. Um, my hair is completely natural, actually. I decided to straighten it, flat iron it, and my hair was not feeling it. So this is a really good hairstyle for anybody who's having trouble, like, maintaining painting their straight natural hair. My hair is short, which you guys will see in a second as soon as I start the tutorial, but it has grown significantly since I first cut it. And so this is kind of just a way to switch up the style a little bit. Um, my hair, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you saw that one day um, I had my hair straight and I went outside and it was literally like boom like my hair does not like the straight at all it completely rejects it and i will say that i probably will not straighten my hair again for a very long time it's just a lot of work for just hair that doesn't want to be straight um and so i really like my natural hair and so I really hope you guys like this tutorial. If you guys would like to see more hair tutorials, I would be more than happy to show you how to do some natural stuff. The natural life is just the life for me, guys. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys really like this and I will see you guys in my next video. So as you guys can see, I'm starting off by parting my hair and it actually was already parted because I've already done this style on my hair, but for the sake of this video, I'm showing you guys. So next I'm going to take this paddle brush just to make sure all the flyaways are tucked and I can get it as straight and smooth as possible. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a hair tie and I'm going to pull my hair back as tight as possible making sure to make it look really clean by getting all the flyaways around my ears and at the top of my head and this can sometimes be a struggle with short hair because your hairs aren't always long enough to make it to the ponytail but you know work with it and try and get whatever you can to the back. So when I position the ponytail on the back of my head, I'm going to make it a little bit of a higher ponytail because my hair is still short and otherwise I'm going to deal with my hair coming out of the ponytail all day if I do a very low ponytail. And when I do the ponytail, I'm going to make sure to wrap it in a low bun um, just with my hair because it'll make it easier to apply the fake hair. So this is just some Kanekalon hair that I got from the hair store. It's the same type that people use to braid with. And this is not the full package actually. It's, um, I've halved it. And I use the hair tie that's already wrapped um, around the hair. And I am going to use that to apply it to my hair. So I'm going to use the hair tie that is already wrapped around the Kanekalon hair to tie it around my hair ponytail. And this hair can be very annoying. It gets tangled so quickly and it's just so stressful. So you want to make sure you work slowly with the hair and just give it enough time. And I don't know what I'm doing, just being silly I guess. So there really is no method to this part of the madness. You just take the hair and you wrap it around the way that you want it to look. And I'm just going to wrap it around a few times. And the biggest part of this, I would say, is just making sure that you wrap your hair in it. You don't want your hair to show in the back. And if it's the same color as your hair, it shouldn't be much of a problem. But I know like the first two times I did it, it didn't work out so well. And you have to be patient with it. Sometimes you have to do it multiple times. I've had to do it multiple times. And yeah. So I'm just checking to make sure I like the positioning of the bun and then I'm going to take a hair tie and wrap it around twice and I'm trying to be gentle making sure not to hit the connectal on here too much because it will start to unravel. And because the bun has a little bit of a fly away from the Kanekalon, I'm going to just take a bobby pin and place it where I can to make sure that it just looks like a really clean and tight bun. And this can be used anywhere on the bun. So as you guys can see, I'm kind of struggling to keep these pieces of hair in the ponytail. It's just a disadvantage of having short hair at the moment. And there's nothing I can really do about it except for add bobby pins in. And I ended up doing this after the video was over, but you guys don't get to see me do it right now. And this is pretty much the final product. And I'm just showing you guys all around what it looks like. And some things that I like to do are I like to pull out these side pieces of my hair just to add a little bit of style. 
And just to make them look a little bit more polished, I'm going to take my flat iron, which is actually my roommate's flat iron, I didn't feel like getting mine out, and I'm just going to lightly go over them. I also ended up brushing out my baby hairs after this video, but I just forgot to show you guys. And that's the final product, guys. So I really hope you guys like the way this looks. If you try it out on your hair, please tell me how it works for you. And check the description box below for everything that I used in this um, tutorial. It was really simple, and I hope you guys really like this. And if you'd like to see more, don't forget to comment. And I will see you guys next time. I feel like my makeup is like... Uh. You guys remember my last video when I talked about the Spellman water bottle I couldn't find? Well, here it is. I had left it in my math teacher's classroom, but I do stay hydrated. Whoa, I ask myself, what am I doing here?